Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create an image header slider with a bootstrap. And here we got the final output. We have implemented the image slider with bootstrap in React.js component. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. How to create an image header slider using Bootstrap in React.js. I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created one folder called react.js-bootstrap-is. Now I want to create a new React.js application in this folder. For that, go to view and click terminal. And here we got our terminal which is nothing but our PowerShell or command prompt. And notice the path is React.js bootstrap is which is nothing but our folder name which I have created in this D drive. Now let's create a new React.js application in this folder. For that npx create react app bootstrap bis bis is my application name and here we got a message happy hacking which means our project has been created successfully here is a bis is our react.js application let me expand this project Notice when I expand this project, we got some default folders and files. The React.js files is created automatically. Now, let me expand the source folder. Now, in the source folder, notice the app.js file. This app.js file is that default React.js component. Now, before adding the bootstrap image slider to this React.js component, Let's check the default output of our application. Come to the terminal. Let's add our project to this path cd bis. Enter. So after adding the project to the path, next thing npm, which is a Nudget package manager, start. Enter. And here we got the default output of our react.js application now what i'll do is i'll add one new component to this project in the source folder right click the source folder new file the file name is uh, image uh, slider slider.js and here we got our image slider.js now in this image slider i'm adding a component i'm creating a component in this image slider.js file before that we need to import the react.js class from the react library so import react from forward slash react after that let's create a function the function name is image slider and this function return add the due tag which is the root element of our image slider function h1 bootstrap image slider with um, in react.js in react.js now after that when we want to create an image slider we require the images so i'm creating a new folder in this source folder i click the source folder new folder the new folder called images enter now let's add some images to this folder open windows explorer i have created this project in d drive which is a react.js bootstrap is bis in the source folder i have created the images now let's add the images in this folder uh, <coughs> what i'm doing I'm opening another Windows Explorer. 
go to downloads here I have some images let's copy this one one two and three let's close this folder open the project now in the images folder we have three images let's rename this images folder which is the image one image two and image three after adding the images to this images folder next thing we need to implement the bootstrap so let's switch over to the browser search for react.js bootstrap and from the search results i'm opening the react bootstrap react bootstrap is a free open source so we don't require any license for this go to get started and get started to installation of the bootstrap we need to use this command called npm Nugget package manager install react bootstrap let's copy that one and in our project terminal install the bootstrap And here the React Bootstrap 1.4.0, the version is installed successfully to our project. To find out, open package.js file. See here we got the React Bootstrap is installed successfully. So let's close this JSON file. Now after that, after that we need to import between curly brackets, carousel, so our work. New SEL from dot forward slash it's not dot forward slash it's react and here also we don't require this this one the react bootstrap from this package I'm adding the carousel class let's close this one now after installing the bootstrap, next we require the bootstrap CSS CDN link. To find out the bootstrap CDN for the React.js, again switch over to the uh, bootstrap React.js. Come to the bottom. Here notice the CSS styles. Let's copy this one. And paste here in our component. After that, let's add one horizontal line now after the horizontal line i'm adding carousel carousel and carousel dot item in this item i'm adding the image source is equals to let's add the height the properties i'm adding height is 300 pixels and the width is uh, 300 let's add 350 pixels alt image one let's copy this item now in the source of this image element we need to add our image images path so that path we need to add here import I'm adding image one from forward slash the images we are getting from images folder forward slash image one dot jpg let's copy this one let's make this image two and image three and the second one is image two and image three now we need to add this image one now let's delete these double quotes instead of that we add curly brackets image one let's copy this one and this one is image two and this one 
image 3. So that's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now to render this component on the browser, we need to configure our component in index.js file. Open index.js file. Notice in this index.js file, in the render method, there is an app component is added. So I don't want to render app component on the browser. So let's add our component, which is the image slider. Image slider. Then we need to import image image slider from let's add the path image slider. That's it. Let's save this application first. Now it's time to check the output. npm start. Enter. Oops, here we got an error. We forgot to add. Oh, okay. Switch to the component. Here we need to add export default. I'm adding my function name. Sorry for that. Again, save this application. Now let's reload the browser. See, here we got the first image. second image and the third image so what i'll do is let's increase the width i'm adding here let's add 150 instead of pixels i'm adding 150 here 150 150 and this one height 100 copy this one let's save this application I'll reload the browser and here we got a new output now let's increase the width of these images but still it's showing the small images only let's increase the width um, width i'm adding around uh, 1250 1250 1250 and let's add one 120 height also i'm increasing 120 save this file and let's add the interval between the images is the interval is equals to 500 save all we'll check the final output now let's reload the browser and here we got the final output let's increase the height also so it look very good and 420 420 and 420. Reload the browser. And here we got the final output. We have implemented the image slider with bootstrap in React.js component. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.